Graph database is really another whole side of NoSQL databases that is pretty much unrelated to any of the NoSQL databases I've discussed so far. And what a graph database really is, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a way of querying vertices and nodes along a graph in a really efficient way. So if you think about problems such as traversing a social network, this is a problem that, like any problem, can be solved relationally but it becomes unwieldy after a certain point in time. And so what a graph database is, is a way of very conveniently asking those kinds of problems and getting answers for those kinds of problems in a convenient way for your application. Well, uh, an RDBMS is essentially a relationship among tables. So if you think about how what a graph is, a graph tends to be a, an arbitrarily connected set of points. So if you wanted to represent an arbitrary, an arbitrary set of points and how they connect in a database, you'd typically choose one table and then describe the relationship between rows in that table, which, which means joining again and again and again the further out you want to explore in that relationship. It's something that can be done but becomes uh, extremely huge in terms of the problem, especially if your graph is heavily connected. So we tend to use graph databases for two kinds of problems. One for trying to determine, you're, you're trying to move along your social network, trying to find friends of friends of friends and what they might be interested in. Uh, and also we use it for various types of proximity algorithms, trying to find a best possible match for you as a person or a best possible uh, product or relationships between products for product advisory services. These kind of databases are extremely useful for constructing algorithms like that. Uh, one last area where they can come up a lot is in uh, data visualization. Uh, there's a lot of different types of data where it's not entirely obvious how things connect together, and a graph database allows you to sort of probe the connections between these things and follow them in real time. Uh, a graph database is really a different kind of beast than the other NoSQL databases. Uh, the graph database is, is obviously very good at querying a graph and interpreting a graph, any of these databases can do it, but if you think about what the document databases are doing and the key value stores are doing, they're functioning in large measure to distribute things across a cluster of servers. A graph, because it's by its nature arbitrarily connected, means that it's fairly difficult to solve that problem in the abstract across a network of machines. So graph databases, with some exceptions, but tend to focus on, on problem sets that can be constrained in the size of one machine. So on some levels, you know, some NoSQL databases besides graph databases, particularly document databases, also work perfectly great in a single, uh, on a single node, a um, you know, single replicated node, but a single node because it's so convenient to develop against them. But it's a question of what are you trying to develop? If you're trying to develop something like an application that saves different kinds of data and then searches by it, a document database is often an extremely convenient way to perform that. Whereas if you're trying to probe relationships between things, especially relationships that go beyond sort of an immediate set of neighbors, a graph is a better choice.